so we have learned the structures we have learned the preparation of glucose now let us come back to the chemical properties of glucose so students please practice it as when it is uploaded i'm observing that students are i think you have become too lazy and maybe you're waiting for the month of february to study please don't do that we don't have time if your target is too high you have to study on daily basis chemistry as we know it's a volatile subject you have to study or once you are done with your syllabus we can start with the revision of all the chapters so please study on the daily basis so let us come back to chemical properties of glucose now basically when i speak about chemical properties till now what do we write glucose structure as uh, six carbon atom hexose right so i have written aldehyde in the first carbon ch2oh in the last carbon and i have uh, shown you all the hydrogens and uh, hydroxy groups on both sides now when i condense the formula of glucose i think glucose molecule when i condense it i can just write like this right cch2 in the first carbon ch2oh in the second carbon how many do we have yes four carbons right already two are over we still have four so what do we can write we can write choh taken four times simple this is also the structure of glucose the condensed formula so one five six six carbon atom so to this glucose let us see if such reagents are given to us first when in the exam if glucose molecule is given to you like this and if the reagents are given to you first you should know, know or you should have the knowledge of the reagents what reagent do we have here i have bromine water what is bromine water bromine water or this particular thing is an oxidizing agent so what does it do it's going to add oxygen to the particular thing right now nitric acid nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent compared to this it's a very strong oxidizing agent remember so it's basically going to add oxygen to that now when i take this particular molecule yes glucose molecule now observe i said it is a mild oxidizing agent compared to this now with this glucose molecule when i speak c HOH -H taken four times is the same and CH2OH. -H. It's going to add oxygen because it is a mild oxidizing agent. It's going to add oxygen only to the aldehyde group here. We very well know aldehydes on oxidation gives what? Acids, correct? So remember, this is an aldehyde group. So aldehydes on oxidation are going to give me acids. So addition of oxygen, COOH. -H. Yes, so we've got only one acid acidic group. So that particular <coughs> product, we name it as gluconic acid. So what is this name? Gluconic acid. Remember that. Yes, fine. So after that gluconic acid, let me come down to strong oxidizing agent. So this is a bit milder oxidizing agent. So only one oxygen has got added to aldehyde aldehydes on oxidation gives acids now here i'm going to take the same glucose molecule now i'm using a strong oxidizing agent and now this strong oxidizing agent is going to oxidize both this first aldehyde group as well as this primary alcohol so what are we going to get i'm going to take this so carbon 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 observe because of its strong nature a carboxylic group is formed here yes removal of uh, the so the addition of oxygen here and here removal of hydrogen and addition of oxygen so you're going to get two carboxylic groups on both the sides and the leftover chOH in the center not a problem chOH is still there existing here mild oxidizing agent only one carboxylic group here strong oxidizing agent it's going to add oxygen here and remove hydrogen and add oxygen so both the both are carboxylic groups so what we name this is gluconic acid now you can name this as glucaric acid glucaric acid or saccharic acid saccharic acid both or glycaric also three are same glucaric glycaric or saccharic all the three are the same so saccharic acid means two carboxylic acid groups on both the sides gluconic acid is only one carboxylic group group in, uh, in the place of aldehydes correct now these two are the reactions now let me um, erase this and come back and teach you this so yeah let us erase this because i want this place for acetate let us see one more structure here yes what do we see we are going to see a reaction with acetic anhydride so what am i going to do yes 
what am I going to do? I am going to take a react, take this glucose and I am going to react this with pentacetate. Now observe carefully, I am going to take this 4, yes, CH2OH, yes. Now, I am going to introduce pentacetate, 5 acetate molecules, acetic anhydride rather. That means it is 5, so CH3COO. CO, CH3, 5 molecules of acetic anhydride. Now observe carefully, now what happens is, this acetic anhydride is going to replace your, <coughs> this hydrogen from here. Okay, hydroxyl, basically acetic anhydride will go and attack at, there's no, this is not an oxidizing agent or a reducing agent. This acetic anhydride is going to attack the hydroxyl group here. Now what happens, there is a cleavage of the bond here. Yes, fine. Now, observe, among five, four of them will get replaced here, four along this hydrogen and the fifth one will get replaced here. Fine. So, four here, one here. All the five are done. The leftover acetic acid is out. Let us see. What are you going to write? CHO, first one. Correct? Now, <clears throat> just take this exactly like this. CHO. Fine. Yes. Now, observe carefully. Here also I am going to take C. H2O, right? Nothing, no, simple. So, you are going to cleave it here. You are going to cleave it here. What do you get? CHO, add this carbon. COCH3. How many? I said COCH3, how many are getting added? Yes, 4 are getting added. CHO, COCH3, 4. There is still one hydrogen, uh, one acetate here. Add that COCH3. Yes, COCH3 here. So, not thrice, it is only once because 4 plus 1, 5. COCH3, only 1. Correct? Over, 4 are here and there is one acetate molecule here. So, COCH3, 4 are over and the leftover is 1. Now, what else did we get? We have got 4 hydrogens here, the fifth one is here. This 4 and 1 is going to come out with this. What do you get? 5 CH3 COOH, acetic acid. Once again, I have taken acetic anhydride, there is a cleavage of the bond here, <coughs> the hydrogen, four hydrogens here and one hydrogen here are going to come out with acetic acid and the leftover acetate form, right, CH3CO, this acetate is going to go and attack or it's going to link with oxygen. Don't most of the students, they, I don't know uh, what they do, they pick up this, please don't get confused, CHO is still there. Because CHO is still there, the hydrogen is replaced to that hydrogen, your acetate group is going to come and link. How many are there totally? 4 plus 1, 5. So the name of this compound is glucose pentaacetate. Glucose pentaacetate, and this is your acetic acid. Yes, so simple glucose pentaacetate means 5 acetate molecule. Just you are going to concentrate only in this part, this hydrogen. Yes, that's your glucose pentacetic. Let us come back to this. Now, when I come back to this reaction, what is the role of HI? HI is basically a strong reducing agent. Earlier, I have studied all oxidizing agents here. Here, I have studied strong reducing agent, HI. So, what does it do? When I am adding HI in the presence of phosphorus, why do I add phosphorus? Because the iodine, whatever is formed, we just getting converted into iodine vapors. So, I am using that as a catalyst. Yes. Now, here HI, with strong oxidizing agent, what does it do? It is going to convert or it is going to remove all the oxygens and convert or add all the hydrogens to this. What does it do? Now, this particular structure, it is going to convert glucose into a straight chain structure straight chain yes what does it do now this oxygen is removed it's going to add hydrogen this is also removed it's going to add hydrogen this whole molecule already two are there i still have four correct so ch four times so how many now this is one two three four correct now what did it do hi being a strong reducing agent it has converted glucose open chain structure of glucose into a straight chain structure with how many what do i have i shouldn't write i should i write this four i should i should i write let me see if should i write or not yes now this is three this is four this is five this is how many how many three plus one four okay let me count this whole thing is this carbon Okay, yes, this whole thing, don't get confused. This whole thing is this part. 
this consider this is 1 okay this is 4 consider the whole thing is 1 4 5 6 so this is which compound now this is n hexane nothing to get confused hi is a strong reducing agent will remove all oxygens and role of reducing agent is, is to add hydrogens so to the first one ch3 group one carbon atom now four ch2 why did i write ch2 two three four but how many are there there are four correct yes fine um the last one again ch3 consider this as one n hexane now let me come back to your hydroxylamine now hydroxylamine when it is reacting okay i'll write this a bit below right hydroxylamine yes <coughs> How do we write this reaction? This is called hydroxyl amine. How do I write this reaction? Now observe in H2OH. Just I am writing like this. Hydroxyl amine. Okay. Now your glucose is there, isn't it? Now this glucose, observe carefully. <coughs> this hydrogen and now this is like this, isn't it? So... So, this is oxygen, this is hydrogen. How is this uh, going to react? This hydroxylamine, this water, H2 and O minus water. Okay, hydroxylamine. In hydroxylamine, H2 and O. And the remaining whole thing goes and attaches here. Nothing to change. Just take out dehydrate water. Means dehydro dehydration. And the leftover goes and adds here. How does this look now? 1, 2, 3. Correct? 1, 2, 3. Now CH2, OH. The center one, CH, OH taken four times. Now what did I say? This is CH. C is still here. Yeah. H is still there. Double bond is still there. NO, H is still there. Don't get confused. Just remove hydrogen and oxygen. Write CH here. Double bond is still existing. OH. Now what is this compound called? Glucose oxime. If they ask you, show the conversion of glucose molecule to oxymes. Glucose to oxime using hydroxylamine by the removal of water. This is glucose oxime. Yes, now HCN. Yeah, HCN basically forms addition products. How does this break? Suppose if I take HCN, H plus and CN minus. Correct. Now, what is your glucose molecule? Glucose molecule is, now let me write glucose like this. Now, observe glucose. Okay, let me write here and now observe this glucose O H correct yes now your C H O H taken four times and your C H 2 O H correct now when I am reacting H C N with this now observe this is going to shift here correct now this becomes minus now observe H C N may H plus will go and attack minus and your C N will come here how do this look now let us write choh taken four times and ch2oh now your carbon is still there correct yes now your hydrogen also is still there there's nothing changed you have two forms now what what has formed now first one to this carbon you have this oxygen so okay let me write this one here to i'm maybe i'm a little bit confusing you okay this carbon is here to the oxygen your oh correct to the oxygen your h now to this particular thing your h is still there and your cn simple so once again let us see hcn is breaking up into h plus and cn minus correct in, in glucose molecule one is shifting this becomes minus when this is becoming minus this becomes plus your proton or the h plus goes and attacks this oh your CN minus comes and attacks carbon, CN. But still there is hydrogen here. Don't get confused. CHOH CN. So what is this called? This is called cyanohydrin. It's called cyanohydrin. Yes. So let us come back and summarize once again all the whole thing. Yes. Uh, this is the product. So what did we write? Let us, uh, let us summarize once again. Yes. So, in chemical reactions of uh, <coughs> glucose, what did we do? We have picked up six reactions. 
so what what are the reactions and what what conclusions are you getting from that yes so when i speak about the reactions of glucose yes your glucose when i when i have written i have written glucose like this ch oh taken four times and ch2 oh yes now first thing glucose with bromine water with bromine water i got gluconic acid correct so this gluconic acid only one carboxylic group formed with with this what are we trying what are we uh, proving that there is a or there is aldehyde group in glucose this particular reaction with bromine water proves that there is an aldehyde group because of aldehyde getting oxidized to acids next in the next reaction which i have taken i have picked up penta acetate correct ch3 co taken twice o oh, penta acetate with this reaction what did i get i got glucose penta acetate what did this molecule explain us this molecule explains us the presence of presence of how many hydroxyl groups five oh groups correct yes now after that i took a mild uh, sorry strong oxidizing agent strong oxidizing agent that is hi correct so hi what did it do it has replaced both the carboxylic which i said c saccharic acid saccharic acid so this saccharic acid what did it explain it is explained that there is means or uh, the uh, uh, there is presence of your hydroxyl group isn't it uh, the oh group of aldehyde and your ch2 oh so this also explains the presence of oh groups means your uh, removal of hydrogen and uh, addition of oxygen so that means it, it basically explains me about oxidation process correct now after that what did i take i took hi right hi what did it do it formed which compound it has formed n hexane so what does it say that there's presence of six presence of six carbon atoms presence of carbon atoms how many carbon atoms are present six yes right after that what did i do i uh, took one more reaction with hydroxylamine NH2OH. What did hydroxylamine do? I got a compound called glucose oxine. What is that proving us? It's proving that there is a presence of your carbonyl group. Correct? Carbonyl group, aldehyde group. Presence of aldehyde group. What product did I get here? I got glucose oxine. Correct? Yes. After that, I did one more reaction with your HCN. Yes, then again I got a compound called cyanohydrin. I got cyanohydrin. So what did this prove? There is a presence of carbonyl. Why am I giving this? There is a question asked. What is the reaction which explains the presence of OH groups in glucose? So glucose pentacetate reaction which I will be explaining. Right. So please note this. This is very important for your glucose reactions.